welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this case we are going to talk about something Selfish OS related again and that will be custom keyboards and emojis and yeah you might wonder why the heck are you talking about that kind of stuff that is pre-installed in general right and the answer is no. On Selfish OS you don't get anything pre-installed or very little pre-installed. Um, there are of course some apps and stuff like that that are pre-installed, but emojis for instance are not part of that. And uh, same with speech recognition and stuff like that. So on Selfish OS you are the master of your smartphone. Um, so if you are for instance coming from Android or you are coming from, uh, from iOS or something like that, you might, yeah, at the first time you are going to open the keyboard, you might really, really wonder where the heck are the smileys and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just to let you know, you can of course get all of that into your smartphone or into your Selfish OS smartphone, but you have to go to the stores to install them. And I'm going to show you in this episode how to do that and what to get more or less, what are the right ones and where you are going to find them and how to set them up. And yeah, so first off, uh, I'm going to use the Selfish OS powered Xperia 10 Mark III in this case. And this is my daily driver and I'm going to show you everything on this smartphone. But we are going to have a look at that, of course, by using the screen capture uh, or screencast technology. And uh, like that, you are going to be able to uh, see everything. I'm going to use my laptop again for that. So let's go out here, go to my um, browser in this case. So screencast is more or less a technology where the smartphone is going to provide some kind of a, of a web browser experience. So some kind of a host more or less that is going to show you all the different images and screen, uh, screen captures more or less. Um, of what I'm going to do. There is a little bit of delay, so everything you're seeing here might be delayed, sometimes really, really worse, or really, really badly de uh, rela delayed. So if you are seeing something that is really, really stuttery and stuff like that, that is not Selfish OS, that is the technology used here. So um, don't think that that is the experience you're going to experience here. Okay, and as you can see here, you already saw it, it's really, really stuttery, but in the end you are able to see what I'm seeing on my smartphone. Okay, so, and I'm going to go to the full screen mode, so you are going to have the full experience, or at least the best I can do for you in this case. Okay, so first off, um, what you are going to see here, I'm going to switch around just to let you see what's going on on my smartphone here too, okay? And um, as mentioned before, you can see everything there too in a bigger way, but just to let you know what I'm seeing, you can already do that. Okay, so first off, let's start off the, uh, with a browser, just activate it. And as you can see, we have some kind of a keyboard down there, below there, but the problem with it is there is no emojis in this keyboard. So you can switch between the normal letters more or less and you can switch between, of course, the different um, yeah, special shards more or less, but it's really not going to show you anything that is going beyond that. And uh, that is where custom keyboards come in handy because uh, to use emojis, for instance, you're going to install custom keyboards too. And um, so let's have a look at that. Just to let you know, we are using at the moment the default Selfish OS keyboard here, which has the umlauts, so the, the U and the A and the O with the dots up there, because of course this is a German keyboard at the moment, as you can see here. And you're not able to switch between them at the moment. Yeah, doesn't work. Um, just because we are at the moment not using any more than one custom or one keyboard at the moment. So everything else is de set it. It's not deinstalled, but de installed uh, But uh, I set up the, the keyboards to not be visible at the moment. And I want to show you where to go and how to go again. 
Okay, so first off, just yeah, let's leave that and go to our stores. Of course, you have all the different stores already installed on your smartphone. If not, please have a look at the other video I'm going to, uh, to set it up in the corner up there. So you can just have to click on the info button there to see the other video where I'm going to show you the different stores and stuff like that. And um, yeah, other than that, first off, go to Storeman in this case. So this is Open Repros. And we are going to have a look at what is available in this store because this store really offers most of the stuff you are going to install here and it's really a great one and you should really have this one installed probably the second uh, you are going to uh, start with safe assurance okay so first off um, what we want to do here and um, just drop down with your finger of course to the, uh, the upper list there so we can uh, search for stuff and now just have a look at what is available there. And in the end, um, I'm just going to put in keyboard in this case. As you can see, there are a lot of different options to install stuff here. And um, yeah, here are a couple of different, different things. For instance, the emoji keyboard and stuff like that. And um, I'm just going to go a little bit deeper here show you everything that is available at the moment so you can see there are a lot of different infos and uh, of course there are a lot of different keyboards to be searched for and worked with and um, in the end what you are going to want to install to get all the stuff here you can see there's really really a lot of stuff um, of course, you can have a look at all the different ones and your typical language, of course, and so on and so forth. Um, but um, just have a look at what you need there. And one, of course, which I would highly recommend is going to be, give me one sec, the keyboard custom emoji, which is this one, of course. I can search for it. And as you can see, here is more or less a one. And I would recommend you to get the plus one because I think that's the much, yeah, the better one, the newer one. And so just get this one in the end and install it because this is going to give you a lot of different smileys in your, your uh, keyboard then. And uh, it really is a nice one, has a lot of different smileys in there, the, the basic ones, of course and uh, you should be able to use all of them after that. Um, but very important, if you install them, so you would have to go to uh, this person here and you might have to uh, add the repository and after that you have to install it. So it's a two-step version on, on the Linux or uh, on the smartphone, in this case, Selfish OS. Um, but after that, it's not going to show up immediately, but you will have to go to your settings. So go to your settings then. It's looking like this for you probably. And then in the settings, you go to your uh, overview here, and there you are going to see all the different things. And somewhere there should be text input, text anger, whatever language you are using. This is of course the German language I'm going to use at the moment. And as you can see, here you see the different things that can be set up more or less. And um, for instance, there is this keyboard at the top on the level there, the first one. And I'm going to just click on that. And as you can see, I have a couple of different things already uh, available here. So as you can see, if we are now going to have a look at the different options, there's this emoji plus one and I'm going to use that at the moment. So as you can see, just activate that, go out. And if we are going to go, probably you will have to one time close your browser or something after that. If you're going back into it, you should be able to see a new keyboard here. I'm of course having it pre-installed already, so I used it a lot. But in the end, as you can see, there are a couple of different options now and um, to access them, you just have to more or less swipe through them. So just swipe on your keyboard to get, uh, go to another one. 
and the keyboards are not going to be implemented directly into your normal um, keyboard you're seeing here, so there's no button or something for that, but you can just swipe to go to another pre-installed keyboard or keyboard you're installing and then you can use them here and just put them in to whatever you want. And as you can see, you get a smiley there that can be used in yeah everywhere. So if you are going to use it on WhatsApp or you can use it on um, of course, all the Sailfish or SD uh, apps and of course something like the browser and so on and so forth. It should be available everywhere then. And that's a great thing about it. And you have a couple of different categories. So here are really a lot of different um, things to see and to use. And um, yeah, this is of course the one uh, part of it. So if you want to uh, get that one, Get it, of course, and after, after that you can just switch back to your keyboard uh, part here and see what's available in addition to that. You are seeing the little talking icon, icon next to Deutsch for instance, German in this case, or English or whatever you're using. That one is probably not available at your site neither. So what you have to do to get that is you're going back to Storman in this case, and now you are going to put in Speech and speech is uh, recognized. Um, search for it, so no, don't uh, don't think that it's going to show everything by default. But you have to search for it. And as you can see, there are two options here: speech node and speech keyboard, which you should have uh, on your smartphone. It's very very interesting stuff, and you sh really should have it on it. Um, the most well, the great thing about it is it's offline, so um, you're not going to send anything to a server like it would be with uh, Android or something, um, where Google of course is the one that is going to provide all these informations, but it means that your data protection is really, really limited with that. In this case, it's not. This one is really an offline um, speech recognition service. I think it's powered by Mozilla or something, I'm not sure, um, but in the end, um, you would have to just click on uh, those two. First off, get speech note. Speech note is more or less uh, the power, and as you can see, it's a fork of Deep Speech by Mozilla, and you can get it in a couple of different languages, as you can see down there. So German is there, English is there, and French, and a couple of other uh, languages. So whatever you are using is probably already available there. And then just install first of speech note. That is more or less an app, but it is going to give you the power of the Mozilla Deep Speech one. And um, the second uh, one you're going to have to install, of course, is then um, search again. Okay. The second you're going to uh, have to install is of course speech keyboard because speech keyboard. It's a custom keyboard that is going to give you this one button click more or less where you can use it and in the end uh, put in your language or more or less let the speech recognition engine get all the different things you are saying to spoken uh, to written form more or less. And like that this one is really important too. It is going to install another custom keyboard for you, so if you did that, then you are going to have to activate it after that here. And if you did that, as you can see, we now should have another one available. I'm not sure if we already can see it. Let's see. Yeah, not at the moment, so let's get out of the browser runs, go back in and already installed but I'm not sure let's see I'm not sure if it's really in this here okay um, seems like that might be the case I'm not sure about that but seems like you will have to uh, to um, restart your smartphone to do that so let's do that now why not we'll take a couple of seconds so um, I might have to cut here 
but after restarting you should be able to see a new button then so just give it a little bit of time as you can see we just have to wait till the smartphone has restarted and the good thing about all of this is of course that after that you are going to be able to speak into your smartphone and get a yeah, pretty well understanding whatever um, information there without losing all your data protection or your data to Google or iOS or whatever Apple in this case and um, they're not going to be able to uh, to receive those informations because it's a Mozilla um, speech recognition software engine which runs offline on your smartphone so good thing about that is it's going to work even if you are you are VLAN or, or Wi-Fi or you are um, yeah, data, data mobile plan or whatever isn't available at the moment. You can still use this. And um, yeah, as you can see, we are back in here. Of course, at the moment, I will have to log in. And after that, I might have to reload the page here because I'm not sure if it's going to be the same uh, IP address and stuff like that so that you can see it. But let's see what's going on there. Give me one sec to, uh, to log in here. And here, for instance, you can already see it. Um, it's available at that point. So you can just swipe through the different keyboards again. And as you can see here is click and say something, which means that you can really just click on that. And now I'm going to talk about something and it should be already available there. Um, what you can see here is you have to set up a, a language to, uh, to work with this. Um, I'm going to, uh, to uh, talk to this bot for instance in this case and I'm just going to uh, say something in German and it should be more or less the same what you are seeing on the screen and in my voice. Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Yeah, and it's pretty accurate. After that, if you talk into it, Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? It's exactly what I said there. You're going to have to send it, of course. And in the end, this is more or less than what you have uh, put in there. You can even talk a pretty long time with it. So a couple of different, um, different sentences and stuff like that. And in general, it's working pretty, pretty well. Not perfect, of course, because it's speech recognition. That's not what is going to be perfect anyway. But in the end, as you can see, very nice uh, thing to have. And so you've got more or less what you might want to have there. So what you already saw, we installed the emoticons into your smartphone. We installed a different language, for instance, if you want that. And we installed, of course, the speech recognition uh, part that is going to give you more or less the same experience as you would have on your Android smartphone or your iOS smartphone or whatever you are used to. So, hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you. Um, if you liked it, of course, give this a video a thumbs up. If you have any kind of questions or want to add something or so, put it down below into the commentary section. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, do it now. It's a button right there. And other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great time. Till the next time. And yeah, bye. Bye.